A while ago I made a video on these old Leapfrog DVDs, specifically the ones that were released in 2003. In that video, I took a nostalgic look at Letter Factory and Talking Words Factory. Both videos I grew up watching to death, and I even still enjoy watching them ironically. Both videos were about learning letters and words. So I guess both videos must have sold well enough to warrant the production of more videos. So in 2004, Leafrog released two new videos on VHS and DVD. Those two videos are Math Circus and Code Word Caper, aka the sequel to Talking Words Factory. A uh, full disclaimer, I am not ages 3 to 6, and with that said, let's go watch some Leafrog. Even though I never owned Math Circus, I did rent it a few times at my local public library. It's been years since I've seen Math Circus, so let's find out if this video still holds up. The video starts off with Mr. Websley spying on his employees. He put in a huge order of talking math books and hates that his employees are having fun. Now, Mr. Websley has always had a minor role in the previous videos, so it's really nice to see him get a bigger role in later installments. Salutations and welcome to the marvelous Math Factory! Hold on a second. That doesn't sound like Professor Quigley. Okay, I guess I'll have to explain the unfortunate news. When doing research on the voice actors, I came across the sad news that Tony Pope, the original voice of Professor Quigley, passed away in early 2004. While he wasn't a recognizable voice actor, he has had countless roles over the years, and he was even the voice of the original Furbies. He was a great voice actor, and probably a great person overall, and sad to see that he's no longer around. So now Quigley is voiced by someone else, and no disrespect towards Phil Proctor or anything, but he barely sounds like Quigley. And I'll be happy to teach you your letters with a foolproof system developed right here by a very ingenious scientist. Before we can go in, you'll need to put a little spring into your step. Also, Leap is now voiced by Cindy Robinson. Since you're probably a fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog series, I'm gonna assume that you probably know who she is. Mr. Websley sneaks inside the math factory to see what Quigley and the Frog Kids are up to. Quigley and the kids start making numbers from 0 to 10, and these numbers make a lot of puns. I'm number one. Four. I'm just a big nothing. The Sixter. Seven is heaven. Divine nine. Three's a cloud. I'm number one. He was number one. Now we see Quigley dress up as a cowboy for some reason, and now we have a musical segment talking about the numbers 1 through 10. Not gonna lie, I think this Quigley voice sounds better when he's singing. You got two, two widgets and that's not all. Two little coins on a shelf on a wall. Two of Tad's fingers, those aren't his toes. A two widget worm, let's see how it grows. And that's the number two. You got a seven and seven quidgets, and that's not all. Seven little coins on a shelf on the wall. Seven of Ted's fingers, those aren't his toes. A seven quidget worm, let's see how it grows, and that's the number seven. Since Debbie Derryberry voices Ted in this video, it feels like I'm hearing a young Jimmy Neutron singing the song. You got a ten and ten quidgets, and that's not all. Ten little coins on a shelf on the wall. Ten of Ted's fingers, those aren't his toes. Quigley shows the kids the math circus. You know, the title of this video. They go inside the tent, and all of a sudden, there's an audience. Were they in this tent the whole time? Also, I know these videos were made on a budget, but the people in the audience pretty much have little to no animation. Sometimes you'll only see a few heads moving, but that's pretty much it. What can we do? We're just people. People can't do anything. Fun fact, some of the people in the audience are actually reoccurring characters from the franchise. They'll have a major role in a future video, but we'll save that for next time. Also, in this shot, there's a rooster in the background who looks stoned. I guess he must have been high on salt. And there's a literal starfish with a human body with breasts. What is up with some of these character designs? What animal is that even supposed to be? An octopus? Well, at least he's happy to be here. I mean, look at that smile. He's so positive looking. Oh yeah, let's not forget how inconsistent the audience placements are. It could just be because of the animation being done internationally or something, but I swear the audience that are cheering and clapping have the same people. Take five, everybody. Wait, wait, where are you taking me? No, no, no. I mean, let's take five minutes to get a treat at the circus ice cream stand. <gasps> ice cream? Holy mother it's the ice cream truck! 
The kids visit the ice cream stand where they meet Mr. Webley in disguise, but they obviously know it's him. I mean, the mustache isn't fooling anyone. Mr. Webley? <laughs> Webley? I... <laughs> Ah, never heard of him. The name's, uh, Scoopsley. Yeah, uh, so how many Scoops can Scoopsley scoop for you? Mmm, need salt. Man, I thought Tad was a weird child. Um, why is there another Tad in the audience? Now quickly starts to perform addition and subtraction, a fairly important part about numbers. Well, shouldn't they be doing this with a net? Who's a net? Most of the segment contains the quidgets and numbers performing addition. Nothing really much to say. Now they move on to subtractions, but first... Is there a doctor in the house? Yes, I'm a doctor. Oh good, a mouse. Okay, that voice does not fit this character. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. They shoot some quidgets out of some cannons, including one with Mr. Websley in it. At least he's okay. He did land on a net after all. Who's a net? Mr. Websley told everyone about how much he enjoyed the whole circus idea, and he and Tad end the video off with a song. We're at the Mad Circus, the Mad Circus, with numbers everywhere, they go leaping through the air. The quidgets never stop, here beneath the big, big top. We met the numbers one through ten, and here they are again! Then the cannons thundering roar. Quidget soaring ten by ten by ten. So yeah, Math Circus is actually kind of fun, ironic given that it's making you learn math. I mean, the songs are decent, they're quite memorable, though not as good as the multiplication songs from Schoolhouse Rock. Though my main problem I have with this video would be the animation. Now don't get me wrong, the animation is usually fine for the most part, but I just think that having a crowd of audiences just doesn't really work with the budget of these videos. The animation just looks better when you have less characters. Otherwise, you'll notice some of the corners that were cut during the production like I did. I still like Matt Circus though. I mean, give it a watch if you're interested. You've done it again, Quick. What a brilliant way to train numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that I, Mr. Websley, am doubling, no, tripling, no, quadrupling my order of smart math books. Hey, dog, give me ten! The O says ah, the O says ah, every letter makes a sound, the O says ah. Code Word Caper is a sequel to Talking Words Factory, as after the events of Math Circus, we actually get to revisit the Talking Words Factory, so we can learn more complex words. Professor Quigley and Mr. Frog even sang about it. Here at the Complex Words Complex, making words as easy as it gets. We're gonna take some letters and put them together, mix them all around, and create some brand new sounds here at the Complex Words Complex. Just like Mad Circus, I didn't own this video back in the day, but I have rented it from my local library, and I have even watched it at a friend's house once. The kids enter the factory to take a look at the new Complex Words Complex. There's also this Quigley AI that the charming professor created, in case the real Quigley isn't around to help. What seems to be the problem? This is my patented, absent professor device. 
Far better than the original, don't you think? Hey, I built you, but I'm smarter! We are then introduced to the idea of having letters with more than one sound, even bringing back the sticky vowel song from the other video. They're A, E, I, O, U. They're the vowels, they're the glue, and each of them makes two sounds. Together, they make new sounds. A says A, and A says A. Hooray! E says A. And E says E. Hooray! I says it. And I says ah. Oh, hi. O says ah. And O says oh. Wow. U says ah. And U says you. So cute! And We're also introduced to another vowel, Y. Why? Well, as Quigley puts it, Sometimes Y will join the team. He doesn't like to stay too clean. Another main gimmick that this video has is with the introduction of the silent E. Professor Quigley shows off his silent E machine, which makes words that end with a silent E. That's cool! So what does a silent E do? Well, Tad, let's say you started with the word tap. Can you sound that out for me? That's an easy one. Tap. Tap. Good. Now, what happens when you say this word? Um, I know. T -a -p -a -tap -a. Well, it looks like tap, a, but this is a silent e, and when we put it at the end of a word, the silent e makes the other vowel say its name. The other vowel is the a, so that's. Tape! Tape! That's correct, my boy! Oh, Professor, where'd you get that cool silent E? Right from my very own silent E machine! It's a machine that literally takes their voice away! Also, I feel like I should address this again. These letters are sentient creatures, and yet these E letters are forced to have their vocals taken out. Mr. Websley is definitely a dictator. Speaking of Mr. Websley, he shows up at the complex, complaining about complex words. What? What? Ah, a complex word. You're not going to ask me to publish a book about complex words, are you? But sir, children really need to understand how to sound out complex words. My balderdash! There is absolutely nothing complex about complex words. Call me when you two have something really important to talk about. <laughs> This better be important. Kids, the professor and I need a little time to come up with a plan. We'll be right back. You two go ahead, but I'm not going to change my mind. You've just got to see how this machine works, Mr. Websley. Right this way. Dad, please. This looks very... Uh, Interesting, but but I've got real business to take care of, all right? Look, Mr. Websley, we've got a machine that makes these E's into silent E's. It actually takes their sound away. Watch, I can do it with my eyes closed. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Luck, Leap accidentally sucks Mr. Websley in the silent E machine, and now Mr. Websley is unable to speak. Are you all right, sir? Fortunately, the AI quickly shows up to help. If you or one of your party has lost his voice in the silent E machine, touch my left hand. If you would like ice cream, touch my right hand. Oh, oh, right hand! Right hand! The kids are given three words in the audio access code, and they need to solve it. So the kids make the word bake, as Tad puts it in his backpack. Now they need to make the word shut, and this is where they go see another machine in the complex. Hey, what about my ice cream? First you take the letter C, add the letter H, put them both together, and a whole new sound you make. When they come out, it's a whole new sound. 
And watch what happens when they're added to the beginning of a word. In ten. First you take the letter S. You add the letter H. Put them both together, and a whole new sound you make. The f you say to me, you little s Mr. B! Language! So now the kids have to make another word in the access code, which is shut. And well, you know how it goes. Just follow us, Mr. Websley. We'll find it. There he goes again! Ah, oh, Here we go again. They make one last word in the access code. Wait. The frog kids finally have all three words in the code, so now they need to figure out what to do with them. Hmm, maybe the words are in the wrong order. Maybe you're right, Lily. Like in a puzzle. Try them in a different order, Tab. Hmm, no, no. How about shut, fake, wait? First word is shut. Shut the door. Bake. We have to bake the words. What now? Now we wait. Two hours later. The kids eventually crack the code, Mr. Websley gets inside the reverse silent e-machine, and his voice box is now back in his body. Tad and Mr. Websley sing one more song, and then the video ends. Overall, code word caper was okay, I guess. Unlike the previous videos, this one never really did much for me. Regardless, it still does a decent job in teaching complex words. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future videos, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Who's a net?